in Isaiah 65, verse 16. It says, Then whoever invokes a blessing in the land shall bless by the God of faithfulness. If your plan for peace of mind is simply letting go of worry, you may feel that you're giving up on a, on a goal or on yourself or another person. Many people do. They, they feel if they don't worry about something, they're just not giving it their all. Well, it's the worst is what you're giving it. An assurance of peace washes over you when you let go and then let God be in your life and in the lives of your loved ones. But how do you do this? Because worry is a habit, a bad habit. You let go of worry and then you imagine yourself giving the challenge or the situation to God for the right solution. See, it's not enough just to give up worry. You have to do something after that. And by imagining yourself giving the whole challenge to God for the right solution, you have done something. Instead of just sit there in like the rocking chair of worry going back and forth and back and forth, thinking you're moving, but you're not going anywhere. You take nothing back that you have given to God once you've given it to God. Letting go and letting God is doing something more powerful and has the potential to help you and to help others. And then you find without that worry poisoning you and poisoning your goals and everything that you desire, well, then you're able to think clearly and act compassionately. You have a positive and an uplifting attitude. And the people around you welcome your encouragement and support. And often this encouragement and support, you don't have to do anything or say anything. It's who you are radiating forth. They feel it, and you're invoking a blessing to them by who you are.